guys, I have some very, very sad news. So if you don't know, New York City Housewives, along with Beverly Hills Housewives, are taking a one-month hiatus from airing new episodes. So they both released their mid-season trailer, and Bravo was just like, yeah, we're gonna admit, we're gonna release our mid-season trailer, but instead, of, we're just gonna stop airing all new episodes from one month. I'm like, what the fuck, Bravo? Fuck you! I still don't have a life! Alright, I rely on watching Housewives every week. I have no life. I have no friends, alright? I have nothing else to do. And now you're done you're gonna take away my housewives from me? Really? Up the ass, Bravo. Up the ass. Spin on it, ho. <laughs> I'm so sad. Like what am I gonna do for the next couple of weeks, huh? Masturbate? That's actually not really a bad option. That I can only do that so many times, so I'll be I'm gonna be bored for the next couple of weeks. Ooh. Oh, yeah, by the way, um, this will be my last YouTube video for a while. Um, there's no new Housewives coming out, so there's no, I don't see me doing any reaction videos for a while. Um, so unfortunately, you will not see me for a couple months as well. So it sucks. Um, so yeah, so because of the COVID, a lot of these Housewives, a, a lot of these reality shows are not filming new episodes, and so... We will not receive, besides the Potomac and Salt Lake, Salt Lake City Housewives, we will not receive any new episodes from any other franchise of um, the Housewives. Um, you know, usually OC films during the spring and summer, Jersey and Atlanta films during the summer, and they both had like uh, late summer and fall um, premiere dates. But because of this COVID, nothing's filming. Um, and so it kind of sucks. So unfortunately... Uh, we only have Potomac and Salt Lake City still to come, and then we probably won't get the other Housewives until 2021. But Potomac is rumored to air um, August 9th, and there is still no rumor premiere date for Salt Lake City Housewives. So this COVID, this coronavirus has really, really taken a toll on my fucking boring life, all right? Not only is nothing open, but now there's no New York City Housewives or Beverly Hills Housewives for a month? <laughs> Whatever. I guess I'll make it. But I am really, really enjoying this season of New York City Housewives. I know that a lot of people are like, oh, this season's gonna be born without Bethany. And I, 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 didn't, I didn't think that this season was. I'm happy that Bethany left the show. I feel like Bethany took up a lot of tension in a lot of scenes um, when she was on, and I'm happy that she's no longer on. I feel like these ladies can finally be themselves and be authentic and just be, just be batshit crazy. This season actually reminds me of when like there's a substitute teacher in the classroom and all the kids are acting up and acting crazy. These are what these ladies are acting like because they didn't act like this when Bethany was on. Like they act like well, they did act a little bash it crazy, but not every single week at every single freaking lunch dinner and every scene. They are really acting like kids who has a substitute teacher. <laughs> but I am really, really enjoying the season. Leah is the star of the season. She has really, really, I, I really, I be I became a fan of Leah. I didn't think I would. But I really, really do stand for Leah. She is batshit crazy. Like, what is wrong with this woman? <laughs> I mean, how she acted at Ramona's house, it was funny to watch on TV. But if I was there, I would have been scared. I mean, that bitch was th throwing fire and shit like that. I mean, well, you can't do that. <laughs> But I, I really do like you, Leah. You are fun. You bring a good energy to the show. And I, she's really cool. I'm happy that they did cast her. It would have been amazing to see how her and Bethany would have gotten along if Bethany stayed this season. But I, I think that, I think, because I, I didn't know, but if you guys don't know, um, Bethany actually told producers about Leah. So I, I, I think that they're friends. I'm not sure on their friendship on how they know each other, but I would have loved to see how they would have um, interacted, with, uh, with, interacted with each other um, on the show. But don't get, don't get excited, Bethany. I don't want you back on, so don't get excited. You had the opportunity. You left the show. So, oh, well, too bad. I guess we'll never know how you and Leo will act with, with each other. Too bad. I don't want to know. I don't care. I do not like Dorinda's behavior. Dorinda, you have became so cringy to watch. You are a bully. I don't understand your obsession with Tinsley and Scott. Who gives a damn? Like, really, Dorinda? Are you searching for a storyline? I don't understand this obsession. It's not fun to watch. You're not enjoyable to watch. I mean, you always had, like, a dark side to you. But this season, maybe because Bethany's gone and then she doesn't take up a lot of attention, now we're focusing on you. It's not a good look, uh, Dorinda. It's not. You need help. I never thought that Luann was an alcoholic. I think that you and Sonia, well, Sonia's not really, like, an alcoholic anymore, um, 
But you, Dorinda, you have a drinking problem and you need to go to jail and you need to go to rehab and you need to be on probation for at least 40 years. When you drink, you become an angry drunk and it's just so, it's not, it's not cute. It's not a good look. I, you do have a good spirit. I do like you, Dorinda. But like I said, it's, it's very cringy to watch you. I know that a lot of people on Twitter have voiced that they want like um, the older women to be removed from the show. I don't want that to happen, all right? I actually think that if Ramona, Sonia, Dorinda, and Luann were all fired from New York Housewives, I don't really think that the show would be successful. I don't really think that the ratings would be as good as it is now. I think that you need to keep Ramona, Sonia, Luann, and Dor Dorinda. You need to keep them and Leah, all right? Maybe Bravo, maybe next season you can add another younger housewife around Leah's age or maybe you can add two young housewives next season since Tinsley left um she won't she won't be back if you guys don't know Tinsley is leaving in tonight's episode she is announcing that she's going to move to Chicago with Scott she gets engaged with no ring <laughs> you'll see it in tonight's episode um and so she will be no longer a housewife when the show comes back I'm assuming based off tonight's episode I'm assuming but she could. I don't know that to be true, but I'm assuming that when she announces that she's moving to Chicago, that she's no longer going to be on the show. But yeah, Bravo, you can, uh, you can add two more younger housewives next season. I want to say recast the entire cast. That's, I don't think you should do that. But I do think you need more diversity on the show. I mean, we need like an Asian, a black, a lesbian, something. I mean, I don't see how this show is in New York City, the most diverse city in the world, and there's all and there's only white women on the show. I remember watching Wendy Williams a couple years ago, and Wendy Williams said that Star Jones should join the show. And you know what? And I think that Star would be a good fit. She she lives in New York City. She likes to fight. She's an African American woman. And on top of that, she doesn't like Ramona Singer. Ramona Singer and her know each other and they do not get along. Perfect TV, right? All right, guys, enough talking. Let's watch this mid-season trailer so I can see what these ladies are bringing to us. Still to come this season on The Real Housewives of New York City. Stop fire! How do you do this? You don't have to wear this tonight. Now what do I do? Switch toilet paper. Oh! because in interviews for the season you guys were kept saying that Leo was like yeah she's like a mother figure we get along perfectly but it doesn't, doesn't look like it um you two like in the last episode when they were in where they were the main or somewhere you were like really really hard on her then Leah like threw her whole plate of ravioli at you I was like oh shit Leah is about that life she is a thug all right call her Tupac thug life um but yeah, Ramona, you're being too harsh on Leah, which I'm not surprised because if you weren't harsh on Leah, then your name wouldn't be Ramona Singer. Um, but Leah is not bringing down the show. She is, like she said, she is elevating the show. Oh, there was no Tinsley, by the way. I was right. She is not going to be in the, um, in the rest of the season. I was right. So tonight's episode, she will leave. Dorinda, you do have a drinking problem. I don't know who you're talking to when you're like, it's not appropriate to say if you're drunk. Um, I think you're talking to Ramona probably because you two have been beefing lately. But you are a drunk, Dorinda. You have a drinking problem. Go to rehab. You are one drink away from being where Luann was a couple years ago. Clink, clink. All right. You're going to be the new Teresa Judith say. Clink, clink. 
mm, you're gonna be right in jail with Teresa and Luann, all right? Singing a song, clink, clink. <laughs> but it's the truth, Dorinda, you need help. You need psychological help and you need um, rehab. You know, like these trailers really don't really match with the season. Like these trailers to me always seem like little dull and boring, but New York City always delivers. All right, they always deliver. So I'm not doubting that the rest of the season is not going to be good because I'm sure it will because this season, this show is always good to me. Always. The only bad season to me was season six, but every season um, of New York City is really good. Hi, Ahijah. This is my dog, Ahijah. He's 10 months old. Look how big he has gotten. By the way, I'm not really feeling that new girl Elise with the black hair. I'm not really feeling her, but I think that maybe they only made her a friend of the show and gave her a confessional because Tinsley left in the mid-season. So they're like, hey, since you're always around the group, you want to have a confessional? That's my opinion. I don't know why they gave her a confessional. She's not really needed. Um, she is a good extra. You know, she looks good being an extra in the crowd, but I don't really think that she needs to really have a role on the show. But I'm only assuming that they gave her a role just because Tinsley, Tinsley left mid-season. I don't know why they got rid of Barbara. Remember Bar Barbara from last season, Luann's friend? I liked her a lot. I don't know why they fired her. She said that they didn't ask her to come back this season, which I was surprised because I thought that she did really good last season. I still think that Heather and Jill should come back. Um, oh yeah, by the way, um, Heather does make a cameo this season. When they go to the Berkshires, um, she comes over, her and her husband come over for a dinner scene. Um, so I am looking forward to seeing that. But I would like for her to come back full time and I like for Jill Zarin to come back full time. I don't understand the hate why people don't want her to come back. I don't understand why Bravo doesn't want Jill to come back. I like Jill. I would like to see Jill and Ramona fight. I thought that they were always entertaining when they did fight. And Jill's commentary She's always throwing shade at somebody. So I think that sh we need her commentary. By the way, I think that Leah, I'm going all over the place, but Leah l resembles Heather a lot in her confessionals. I don't know if it's because of the big nose and the long hair, but they resemble each other. And um, when Leah's talking in her confessionals, there's like two scenes. And I'm like, oh my gosh, she like looks like Heather. I'm not saying identical twins, but she does resemble Heather a lot. But yeah, I would like to see Heather and Jill come back. Um, to the show. But I think that we do need maybe some younger women on the show. I'm not saying let's recast the entire show. We need younger women and we need a, a lesbian. We need a black woman, an Asian woman. We need some, we need some type of diversity, all right? Just because Leah's younger than the rest of the women doesn't mean that's diversity. No, she's still a white female, all right? We need another ethnicity. Ethnicity? Ethnicity. 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 We need another race. <laughs> All right, so that is my thought on um, this mid-season trailer and this um, season. As I told you in the beginning of the video, um, I you won't see me for a while, um, and I'm going to miss talking to you all. Um, it sucks. By the way, I'm really thankful for everyone who watches my videos and who actually took the time to message me. I get like a lot of DMs on my, um, between Twitter and Instagram and I'm so appreciative and I, I, I thank you. Thank you so much for really watching me. I, I appreciate it. I never thought that when I started doing YouTube that people would watch me. I thought that I would get like, what, 57 views, but people actually take the time to comment and to send me love and I don't want to get emotional. Don't do it, Marcus. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. <laughs> I don't want to cry, but I really, really feel blessed. Why do I feel like I'm like saying goodbye permanently? I'm not. I'm just, I'm just, I'm in my feelings today. I'm just really emotional right now. I don't know why, but I am. My dog is playing with his toy, ruining my video, ruining my sentimental speech. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> I love you. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I, I really am appreciative of everybody. Thank you. Thank you a lot. I really do mean it. Thank you. Thank you. All right. So I don't know when the next time I will see you or when I will talk to you all. Um, but yeah, just follow me on um, Twitter and Instagram um, if you miss hearing my voice and seeing my face. Um, but The Real Housewives of New York City returns July 2nd on Bravo. 
Thank you so much for taking the time to watch my video. Please subscribe to my page if you haven't already. And while you're on my page, check out my other videos and let me know if you agree or disagree with anything that I said. Down below in the description area under more Marcus, I put my Instagram and Twitter information. So go ahead and follow me guys. That way you can send me a DM for any video requests that you have. I can't wait to talk to you all again. Bye guys. <laughs> Push some